Dan, some pretty good work yesterday, uh, and really for the last week or so, I know you've been out working on it. Again, we focused on just connecting that right arm down through the downswing and continuing down, trying to keep that spine angle. And I just wanted to show you a couple pieces right here. First is uh, where the club is right here. You can see that leading edge sitting just like that. Now, we know that perfectly square club face is going to be uh, matching the spine angle up. So we're just a little bit open in that position, which is probably one of the reasons we might be seeing that cut shot. We're going to look at this a little more uh, with your driver as well. Um, so that's pretty solid. And then as we move forward into impact, you can see how that guy stays right on your right side right there. Really good. As we go down into impact, you can see the hands releasing. Uh, club looks like it's wide open there. That's just a camera angle effect. Uh, your club's certainly not that far open or you wouldn't be hitting the shots like you were. And then as we release through, uh, you remember from this position right here, we were seeing the spine just standing up a little bit more. You can really see how we're down through contact. And then again, one of the things that we don't see is that left elbow fly out there uh, too quick and get that chicken wing shot going on. You can see that nice full release with the body and uh, everything's rotated through. So there's reasons why we're hitting the golf ball a lot better. We can see changes in your golf swing. Uh, I want to continue with this work for the next week or so, and then we'll start talking about uh, extension and some release, release places that we can get some distance added, uh, especially with your driver. But I think that's great work. I love seeing this uh, progress on the video and uh, enjoyed our time together. So good work, and I'll see you again next week.